Things certainly took a turn for the interesting after my little escapades at the watch station. As I was going to drop off Miles' cash and blackmail, I was ambushed by the Raven. Turns out that the note in Rollins' place was dead serious. Not only that, this guy is skilled. So skilled that I have to wonder if it was a warning shot. The arrow could have nailed my head to the wall if it went but a hair's breadth lower. As soon as I saw him, he was gone. I'm pretty good at staying on scene, but not, not only did he see me, he found the perfect perch for an ambush. The note mentioned that the raven is bloodbound to some bishop in the town of St. Letta. Eliminating him would be safer than trying to duel this raven fellow. And besides, it's likely someone else would just take his place. Since Miles owes me a big favor, I had him arrange safe travels there. Two days and many miles traveled in a small box later, I arrived. Next to my box was a letter from a local fence, one of Miles' contacts. Apparently, he can set me up with a new life here if I steal something from the local bank for him. Bridgeport can eat my breeches, for all I care, so I'm inclined to take the bait. I can't forget why I came here, though. I'll have to break into the bishop's palace, locate him and quietly take him out. Easier said than done, no doubt, especially since I had to pack lightly. Sounds like it's going to be a long night. I have some big fish to fry. I'd better get cooking. Hello, and welcome back to the Darkmont. We finally have the third in the series of Chronicles of Skullduggery. So, how does Sacricide stack up to the rest? I don't know. The, the missions I've been playing lately have been pretty darn good, so I'm looking for more good, yes? I don't see us making bad missions anytime soon, so probably. All right, what's the difference? Ooh, talented thief kills his target, no other people. Okay, well, I didn't want to kill anybody anyway. So let's go adept. I would go master, but knocking out no more than four people, eh, you know me, I knock everybody out. So what are our object objectives? You've been marked for death by the Raven. Find Bishop Gultier Fonte. Don't know if I said that right, but sure. And end his life to save your own. Kind of sucks that I have to kill him, but maybe there'll be something else in the mission so I won't have to kill him? We'll see. In order to fund your new life in life, Nicola. Nicola? Nicola. Don't know how to pronounce that either. I'm good with names. Needs you to break into the bank and steal the, record, the records of the Calciano Brothers Company. Starting a new life quickly gets expensive. Find 4,500 loot for those needs. And a talented thief only kills his target. No other people should die by your hand. No, that would be a, a talented assassin, not a talented thief. When you're finished with the town for the night, escape through the gate in the northwest of the sewer system. I have a feeling this is going to be a little more complicated than this lets on, so let's get into it, shall we? Okay. What? I'm literally still in my box. I was... Man, I must be some sort of contortionist if I fit in that. All right. Bank and palace. Bank and palace. What do we have on us? Moss arrows, noisemaker. These were in there with me. Water arrows, broadhead arrows, short sword, and a good old-fashioned blackjack. Yeah, about that. Oh, what's this? Right off the bat. I see rats. What do I see loot? Wow, there are a lot of rats in here. Dead rat storage. There's nothing in there. I don't think you did it right. Ooh, got some wine over here. 
<laughs> we down. No, it's mine, rats. It's mine. Yeah, you've got an infestation down here. You might want to get this under control. But uh, that's not my job, so I'll leave you to it. What is that sound? I agree. Right. Hello? I didn't see the guard. Hopefully in this town they have strong heads because they're going to get gazoon tight. They're going to get knocked out quite a lot. Wow, this is a pretty run down city. I heard a door open this way. What the hell? Oh, I did not know that that was a door. Well, I'll be with you in a moment. Going back over here. I guess you're the one who heard me out here. Would you call me? How dare you, sir? I'm gonna need you to turn around. Turn right around, sir. There you go. Uh, you have to go up the stairs. What was that? What was that? Uh, what that is? Give me the key. I can't, I can't get the key. Ah, now I've got you. I'm not here. Oh, bloody coward. Not here. You I've don't see me. Here, Do you? Escaped. You, you okay there? There we go. This is the bank. Okay. Fair enough. Front desk. Well, that guy was very easy to uh, confuse. Close the damn door. It's very bright in here. How do I turn off the lights? There's no switches. Yeah, let's get in the front. Okay. Current owners of security draws. Blah, blah, blah. The mayor and the bishop. Maybe I can blackmail him. All right, what else we got? Nothing? Well, that's good. I wonder, I wonder, I wonder. Rodolfo di Forenze, the founder. Can I take your painting, Mr. Dorenze? Welcome to Banquio di Fiorenese. I may be Italian by blood, but I definitely can't speak it. Patrons are asked to present their inquiries at the front desk to the right. Premium patrons are allowed access to their de deposit boxes in the secure storage room unattended. You will find it further up and to the left. Let us know if you need to use the restroom during your visit, and we will take you there. Don't hesitate to let our staff know if there is anything else we can do for you, or if you have opinions about your visit today. Okay. Nope. Nope. It's a nice key you got there, buddy. It's a shame so something happened to us. that? Nothing. Don't work. Josh. I said it was nothing. Oh. Yeah. Damn it. Huh. See nothing. Oh, I guess I can see around corners. I guess that makes sense. Damn it. Well, that is less than ideal. Does he turn around normally? He does. Okay. I thought he just turned around because I was coming up on him. I was wrong. You mind uh, getting the fuck out of the way, man? Can't reach the door from here. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That's not but And he leans against the wall. I think he's mocking me. Do you think he's mocking me? I think he's mocking me. Oh! Don't make me cut. I'll cut! Don't you make me cut! I'll even speed it up. Or I'll get impatient. One of the two.
seriously? Come on, man. There you go. There we go. Let's just put you over here. No reason to pick you up. Bank bottom floor key. So all of these? Wonder if what's his name is stuck outside. Well, here's the front. Hi, how you doing? Wonder if the palace is over there somewhere. Maybe by palace they meant the church. Mar Marchese Donetta de, de Calvio, benefactor. So you put money into this, huh? Okay, consultant. I'm not saying these names anymore. They're too much for me. So. Eh. I don't know what her job is. Apparently she just has a pretty face. Ooh, I'll take that. I mean, the bank's a good place to start when starting a new life, right? Always get yourself a bank account. Or clear a bank account out. One of the two. Oh, Jesus Christ. 19th of October. I just don't know what to think of this position I have taken at the family bank. As father's only child, I suppose it is my duty to take up the banner and follow in his footsteps. Though I would rather wake, uh, make a name for myself through my art and spend my time cohorting with the fabulous wealthy than be some glorified bean counter for the Philistine clientels of this bank. I know it is profitable, but the scent of commoners lingers within these walls. That annoying Ricardo tries to, these words are horrible, tries to teach me numbers, but I have no interest in them. Besides, he is a peasant in Lord's clothing. Disgusting. At least I was able to make this office a little bit more cultured and proper. I will have to hang on to that, I suppose. When Father steps down from management, I will no longer have to deal with ignoble customers or annoying co-workers, and I can finally make this place worthy of my presence. Well, I hate this guy. Can I wreck up the office a little bit? Can I steal the painting? I'd like to steal some paintings. You hiding anything up here? No. All right. Yeah, it seems like uh, I got the guy outside stuck. Staff only? Well, I'm staff. At least for today. Um. Oh, there it is. Okay. I'm not used to the buttons. Again. Really need to get over that. Hopefully, with the recordings stepping up again, with the last time I um, uploaded something to YouTube actually looking good, and we record some more now, um, uh, I'll actually remember what all the buttons are. It's I'm sorry, it, it just is hard for me to remember. Uh, has to comes with my condition, actually. Can't concentrate on much of anything. La Gazente Santaleta. New, new law could segregate residential districts in Santaleta. Don't really care. Banker mysteriously drops dead. On late Thursday evening, Mr. Cristofano Acato, executive officer of the Bank of Ponte, Ponte de San, Pontanazi, dear God, was seen by witnesses walking home from the pub in Pontanazi. In the small hours of the morning, he was found dead with discernible causes in the alleyway near his apartment. Mr. Ricardo was involved in a legal dispute with the bank, the Banco de Fiorezense, whatever, here in Santelita. Oh, there's something wrong with me. Uh, so one of the bankers is dead. That's not good. That's hardly good. Hello. Restroom. Oh, yes. Now you see why they need you to let them... To tell them that you need to use the restroom. We got a big old hole here. Wonder if that would connect with other places. 
Secure deposit, seed front desk for entry. Uh, was there any extra keys at the front desk? Nothing in there. I don't see any hidden keys. It could just be this one key that I have it opens everything downstairs. Uh -huh. I, why am I doing that? I have a button. Hmm. I don't have another key. They say front desk, but maybe accountants, consultant, consultant. Okay. Maybe the keys are upstairs when they're closed. I mean, I was going to go everywhere anyway, so what does it matter, right? Oh, God. I'm going to hit that button real quick. If you all don't mind. You have a very big helmet on there, sir. I don't know. What was that? Restricted access archives. Hmm. This key you got there. You just gonna turn around, aren't you? At least you didn't sit down. Don't sit down. I ask you to do one thing. All right. Well, this is unlocked. Let's go in here. Oh, it's the bathroom. I feel accomplished coming in here. Um, I'm assuming that filters down to the bottom floor, but, uh oh I saw you had a key. Can you give me the key? Please give me the key. Ah, there we go. Top floor. Yay, I guess. That. All right. Hopefully, this other guard doesn't come in here. Timing. No, open, please. Like now. All right. We've got lots and lots of books. There better not be a fucking pull book in here. Financial inquiry into uh, respective loan taker. The aforementioned man came to us on the 30th of September and met with uh, his reasons for taking the loan is to start a business selling writing supplies and books. The property in question is uh, there's a good personal financial record. No demerits were reported from the city council. Our initial viability study shows that the business would be highly profitable and the loan could potentially be repaid in three years or less. From the bank's perspective, there is very little profit likely to be accrued over the time the loan will run. Therefore, I suggest we decline Dr. Calvani's application. Yep, that's how the real world works. They want you to pay interest. Just if you don't, if you're not, if you're gonna pay it off, if you're good about keeping up on your bills, that's actually bad for you, which makes absolutely no sense. I will take that, please, and that. In the book, no. Hmm. That is depressingly realistic. All right, I'm going to assume there's no pull book here. Why would there be a pull book at a bank? It makes no sense. I opened the door for you. There you go. Have a key? Uh, how'd you open that door if you don't have a key? Uh, president, you say? Anybody in to work today? No? All right. I'd like to turn these off so I can have uh, whatever. What do you got here? Honored mother. Aw, how sweet. Uh, can I read this in the dark, please? 
All right, we got a letter. Honorable Mr. D. Forenzi. In lieu of our recent increase in security for our physical assets, I respectfully suggest that the bank take measurements, take measurements, take measures to secure our administrative assets as well. As it stands currently, our papers that proclaim ownership of property and track loan takers and their payments have no backup, such that if a file should disappear, we would lose all the paper trail following our investments and also any legal claims to such assets. Builder forbid we should have a break into the archives, and we could lose many valuable assets. Most thieves aren't interested in paper, but I believe we should still implement the new standard in the capital called double entry bookkeeping. Despite the increases in administrative handling, this way we have the security in our investments and ease of mind of our officers. Regards, Matteo Vitaletti, Executive Officer. So, th what I need is in um, the records room somewhere. Hopefully they haven't made copies. Otherwise, getting this loan information is not going to be worth it. Uh, the Presidente, I see. Got another letter. Dear Mr. Calchona. Chono? Ch Chano? Something like that. I hear your concerns about the sensitive nature of your business records that we keep, but it is a matter of fid fiduciary diligence. The information pertaining to your company's loans need to... Hi. Don't turn that on. Please don't turn that on. Please don't turn that on. Okay, thank God. No, oh, he turned it on. Okay, I'm good here. <laughs> loans need to be accessible to our staff at any time. It is this in, is it, if this is in relation to writing the duplicate, it's still going to be, wait, what? It's still going to be accessible to you because there's going to, there's just going to be another uh, copy somewhere else. I don't think you get it. It's unfortunate that it also contains other sensitive information. However, I can give you my sincerest assurance that they are safe from prying eyes in our archives. You can put your trust in our that? institution. Yours truly, Giovanni Di Forenze, director. Okay, so does that mean that they are hidden somewhere in there? Hence, a public. Just had to turn the light on. So that wasn't in reference to the copies. We're just worried about uh, people being able to get their information, which I'm going to take advantage of. Giovanni's journal. Just in case, 18th of October. Wow, I don't know why I read it like that. It seems as though profits are stagnating somewhat in recent months. And I don't know what the cause is. We already have the city council in our pockets and didn't have to pay a single coin in taxes for last year. Imagine if the commoners knew, ha, huh, this is getting far too realistic. <laughs> As far as I can gather, we have the entire city under our thumbs, since there is no competition in town anymore. We can set any kind of interest rates that we please, and have found a good balance of keeping people fully burdened with debt, without too many failing and ending on the streets. There will always be some, but our profits are maximized, so it's acceptable. In other news, my sweet Lucia, sorry for butchering that, has started working in the bank. I'm sure that she will rise through the ranks and make me proud. It will be a pleasure to hand over the reins to her in a few years, when I can retire luxuriously in the capital. 20th of October. I think I've come up with a solution for our stagnant profits. We need to exploit people in other cities. I think the best way to do this through the merc- Mercenaries? Is through mercenaries? The fuck? I've sent a message to Commander Cavalacenti, with an offer he can't refuse. He's to attack the town of Ontanasi, to topple the council, and install a mayor of our choice who is friendly to our cause. In return, he will get a big sum of money, and we can force the council to give him a tax break. We will then build a second chapter of the bank in the city, and just like that, we have a whole new market to dominate. Sometimes I'm surprised even at my own ingenuity. That sounds bad. That sounds really bad. 
And these other ones. New. All right, I need to get away from that. I don't like that side of the room. What? There you are. Hi. Just don't turn off the light. And you still can't see me. Ah. And then he stands there, staring at the switch. How is that doing your rounds? Don't sit down. Don't. He's been here as long as I have. There, done. <laughs> Executive officer. Oh, he's still here. Oh, he's still here. Oh, he's still here. It's too quiet. I should summon the minstrel. You're at the bank. What would a minstrel do? Okay. than it should be. It is. You should probably turn that on. Good job. All right. I'll just put you over here in the corner where it's nice and dark. Do you have anything on you? Don't don't worry. I'm going to prod your crotch a little bit here. Archives keep. But I was just in the archives, wasn't I? What? Is there another door in the archives? All right, let's see what else we can find in here. Um, can I not get that? Okay, well, I'll grab that then. Lady Elena, another benefactor. At least she has the job. All right, what do we got here? This is Clara's house deed. Is this what we, wait, what? Order to founder, no, 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 you have been marked for death, starting a uh, da, 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 da. No, I need to steal the records of the brother, something brothers company. Okay, what I just picked up is an item, so I can't use it. Okay. Ah. Hi. You saw nothing. Oh boy, that was bad. Hmm. Where in there? Maybe it's just the two stairs that I didn't go up. Just continue on your rounds. You just you saw nothing. Just just leave. Just Dude, go. I guess it was nothing. You're not even going to close the door? Okay. All right. Oh, never mind. Just one. Uh, I'm going to know it when I find it. Oh, hell no. I have no idea where it could be. It would take me for flipping ever to go through every single book here. Oh, wait, wait, wait. There it is. Got it. All right. Got the bank records. Let's see if we can get out of here safely. Ah, nice. Can I look at them? No, I can't. Then why do I have the deed to somebody's house? This is saying don't make backups. There's not a damn thing they can do about it. All right, I guess we'll just go right out the front damn door. I don't got a problem with that. But we'll have to do it next time. Uh, we still have to find this bishop and, and his life, unfortunately. But uh, we've cleared out the bank. I think there'd be more money. Uh, wait, we can't get in the safe deposit boxes. That I'll have to figure out.
Anyways, hopefully you enjoyed my nonsense. If you did, a like, comment, subscribing, and hitting that bell icon would be greatly appreciated. And this has been Boy Lag. Signing off. Oh god! Uh. Close the damn door, please! Oh god, it scared the crap out of me! Wasn't expecting that! Come in! I mean, don't come in! <laughs>